there's this idea about, I, I believe surrender is the most powerful thing that we can do. Okay, that's a good start. I like that. Surrender is the only thing that's going on. If mm. you think there's anything else going on, you're mistaken. Surrender is the process of life. The truth is, it's not about will I surrender? Do I want to? Every one of us is participating in the process of life. You are in the process of surrender. You are born, you begin aging. At some point, no matter how well you take, how much yoga you do, how much stem cells you do, your body's going to change. Your hair's going to turn white. Hair's going to fall out. Things will just, you know, you can take care of it, but it's going to change. This is the process of surrender. And if you don't believe it, on your deathbed, you will have to surrender. So it's not about if, it's about when. Life is a process of surrender. So it becomes, how do you want to participate in the process of life that is surrender? Because the truth is, even if you're Bill Gates, Elon Musk, how many things go exactly how you want them to in life? It doesn't. It doesn't. It's just life. Rockets blow up. Traffic happens. People die. We're not in control of so many things. So in our culture today, there is this misconception that surrender is weak, mm -hmm. that surrender is passive, mm -hmm. that surrender is giving up, that surrender is white flag, that surrender is being a doormat, being a victim, being taken advantage of, means you're going to be left behind, that if you surrender, you won't manifest your goals, your dreams, your desires. That's not very exciting. If you surrender, you're going to get less in life. I'm just saying, no, if you surrender, you might get more. Maybe not what you plan. Maybe not what you expected, but more. If you look, like surrender is the real secret to the next level of your life. It's the real secret to manifestation. If you look at the great ones, so people think, ah, surrender is weak. Well, Jesus, was he weak? Buddha, was he weak? M Martin Luther King, Mandela, Mother Teresa, Oprah, dare I say it, and we can get into this, Elon Musk, uh, Muhammad Ali, Bruce Lee. At some point, they all, in their own way, they all had to surrender themselves to a purpose that was bigger than themselves. They all had to surrender themselves to a mission. They all had to surrender themselves to the universe, to the divine, to, to, to their soul's deepest impulse. In that letting go and surrender, and I'm sure many of them, their lives didn't go in the direction that they thought. That was a surrender. Right. I'm sure Mandela didn't expect or want to go or plan in his journal to spend 27 years in prison. But should he have not, that's where life took him and he surrendered to it. At some point, they all surrendered themselves to something more. In that surrender, they transcended their human limitations. They tapped into another dimension of life. And that's when life began to manifest through them. That's when life began to use them. That's when life began to come through them and, and miracle through them. That's where the magic happens. 